Hey, what's up, everybody? So, as you can see by my body language, I'm a, I'm a little bit frustrated right now, and there's a reason for that. I stated in the very beginning of that last video that I was going to be doing a 10-hour rest at the service plaza that I was at, and after I created that video, I immediately realized while I was doing all my calculations for my trip that I actually did not have enough time to do a 10-hour rest. And the reason why I chose to stop at the service plaza is because there was no parking. Now, keep that in mind. I got here at 8 o'clock, and that was the appointment time. The load was not ready. It was supposed to be a drop and hook, but it wasn't ready. I was instructed to check back in an hour to see if it was ready. Checked back after an hour, load still not ready. So keep in mind that I was about maybe an hour and an hour and a half, an hour 20 minutes short of doing a full 10 hour rest while I was sitting at the service plaza. So if I'd known the load wasn't ready, I could have just stayed there and I had to reset my clock and I'd have had a full, I'd have had a full 11 to drive in a full 14. That would have been great. Now I can't do that. So at this moment, my clock is currently burning. My 14 is burning because I had to split the sleeper berth in order to get here. Once you split the sleeper berth, your 14 hour clock doesn't stop running. So continuing the story, now it is, what, I believe 10 o'clock? Yes, so it's almost 11 o'clock. I got here at eight o'clock. Load still isn't ready. So I checked back in with security again. They tell me, go to Dr. 58, go to Dr. 58. There's a trailer for a whole nother company, JB Hunt. It's not ours. I call them back. They tell me, go to door 38. I go to door 38. <laughs> it's a Warner trailer. That's not ours. I call them back. They tell me to go to door 48. As I'm on my way to door 48, I decide to take a moment and stop and check with the yard jockeys to see if maybe one of them can figure it out. Turns out, according to the yard jockey, he literally just pulled that trailer to the door. So that means when they told me the load was being loaded currently, it wasn't being loaded currently because he just pulled it to the door. So they were just getting ready to load it, which means it's going to be a while. Also, security told me to actually go to door, 40, uh, door 48, but she didn't explain to me about go to door 48. I can't hook up the trailer. She literally was expecting me to actually hold on a second. Yes. What was that? 48? That's the one they're telling me. Huh? That's the one they're telling me. Right, it's, done it's done now? Done. All right. Thank you. All right. So there's some good news. So at least the trailer is ready. But yeah, so I had called security back. And she tells me that, yeah, you can't hook up to the trailer. You just have to wait for it to be ready. So I go, okay, well, will somebody take my number and then call me when it's ready? She's like, no, you should just park next to it or across from it and then wait for them to pull it out. So she expects me to sit there and watch this thing like I'm a guard dog. What type of system is that? That is, that's the, that's extremely strange. At most facilities I've been to during my training, they usually take your phone number or they give you some type of device that will go off to let you know when your load is ready. No, I'm supposed to sit and stare and wait for it. Ah, uh, luckily enough, I had the conversation with those couple of guys that were uh, doing the yard jockey work and they talked amongst one another. So this gentleman just came by to let me know that that trailer is ready. So now I need to get my bills for it and confirm that this is the right load. It, it better be the right load. So we'll see. Anyways, I'll catch up with y'all later. I'm getting ready to hook and get rolling. Stay safe. Peace. I'm back. So weighing on the way out at the guard shack, I was overweight on the drives. Now, mind you, I'd already slid the tandems up pretty far before I even weighed. So I go off the scale, slide the tandems all the way to the front, go back, hit the scale again, drive tires are still overweight. Now granted, I'm not totally overweight. My gross weight is not overweight. It's just the way that they loaded the trailer that there's just too much weight to the front. So they need to shift the freight around and a lot of those double stacks, they need to make single stacks towards the rear instead and then that will shift the weight. So I'm now ready, waiting to be reworked and it is now 11 o'clock. So I'm losing a lot of time waiting here at this 01. Um, it's still looking like I may be able to make the delivery appointment, but 
they may have to push that appointment, but it's not, at least it's not my fault. It's not due to me, you know, not driving or anything like that. It's actually due to me not being able to get the load from the shipper. So at that point, they're kind of going to have to move the appointment because the distance that it takes to deliver it, I mean, not unless they end up having me bring it to a terminal and then have a team repower it and then the team can take it that's always a possibility that does happen sometimes but I would like to keep this load and keep on moving I mean I've already accepted it and I wanted to run this load so it was pretty far uh, the compensation was well so we'll see how long I'm gonna be here for don't know <laughs> hopefully it's not too long I'm gonna go in the back and chill actually first I need to call the security desk to find out if anybody's going to communicate with me because this place don't communicate whatsoever you just kind of have to hope and check and check and check and check and check and maybe they're ready maybe they're not ready I've never seen anything like this now I'm sure some of the more experienced drivers have but yeah this is very very disorganized anyway stay safe I'll talk to you later peace